Hey guys, how's it going? So today uh, I want to talk about inner space, the final frontier. And that's just what it's about, how um, as human beings on this planet from the history, the mainstream history that we're teaching or uh, telling ourselves, um, space is being explored. And to me, it, and this is all tied in with mass awakening, with um, revolution or the idea of re revolution and uh, massive change on a systematic level, ultimately inner space, our ability as human beings on an individual and sovereign level to explore our own inner reality. I mean, that's, that's it. <laughs> Once every single one of us, and that includes you and that includes me, go within and explore inner, inner reality from our own standpoint, from our own um, non-judgmental, totally accepting, silent awareness within us, as we explore and ultimately that requires peeling back layers of conditioning, layers of inauthentic mind chatter, because that mind chatter is normally just repeating stuff we've absorbed, repeating stuff that we've learned and were taught to be correct or right. As we peel back those layers of conditions that make us separate, that make us right or wrong, good or bad, uh, the further back we go, the more we attune to a source of unconditional love, non-judgment, acceptance, neutrality, and this is a truly sovereign, creative place where we as a people are able to energetically rise above the old paradigm, rise above the old way of being and lead the way, lead the way to a new way of being or uh, a, a more like a more expanded way of being. Because again, it's all these things, when I say new, in a way, I'm aware of that being language of the old way because um, in the new, time time basically isn't just what we think. It's not just this, this linear path that, there are watch, that we're all walking where we're running out of time. Um, time uh, is an ideology, really. Time is something that we created along the way to compartmentalize and probably make sense of our existence. And as we expand beyond that level of awareness from that previous place, uh, time in, in that sense dissolves. And we're only really aware of the present, of now, of what is within us, what is going on within. And I'm ever more aware of, you know, being, where, being noticing your language and noticing your thoughts. What are you thinking about? You know, and then noticing how do you feel? And, I, you know, it's a real tricky one because oftentimes we get ourselves into a slump because we're thinking a certain train of thought that's making us feel like crap, okay? And and then if we're used to that pattern, it's just, oh, I'm so crap, you know? Like, that's, that's what it is. But we have to be diligent enough to notice the thoughts that we're thinking in that moment and at least be quiet with them. Because clearly that train of thought isn't serving. It's not making us feel any better. So qu quietness and focusing on the breath can help at least detach us from that train of thought. And if possible, give us space to create a new train of thought that serves us better, that feels better. Okay, but having the courage to explore inner reality... Uh, this stuff isn't necessarily, you know, sunshine, happiness, and rainbows all the time. 
And I know there's like this this uh, expression, New Age spirituality, which is all about light and love. And that is wonderful. That is super beautiful. And of course, of course, we want to be projecting and creating more light and love out there. I'm really aware of also acknowledging that as we peel back layers, we're doing this work and we often have to transmute and sit with serious discomfort and take full responsibility for it. Okay, so like there are times of anger and there are times of sadness and there are times of gut-wrenching pain, uh, you know, physical, emotional pain that sometimes we have to burn through it with the light of our awareness so that it dissolves, so that we're consciously aware of owning it so, so that we can take command of it. You know, that's mine. I own that. I created that. And so I can uncreate it. I can stand on my power and make choices in every moment of how I want to feel and what I want to do and where I want to go. So long as we're all deflecting our own inner power and our own inner reality onto external forces, people, places, and things, we have no power. We've given it all away. And so therefore, we're definitely going to be stuck looped back into our patterns, okay? Back into... I don't know, the nine to five, back into, um, you know, taking meds that we'd rather not be taking, you know, like we're all, we all, and we all have these things. I think that's the point is not preaching some high and mighty, um, pious, you know, this is how it's supposed to look and this is how it's supposed to feel and this is what you should do, A, B, C, and D, you know, rather have a real spacious, thing about like how do you feel does that feel good to you well that's probably your inner compass saying yeah this is go keep going in this direction if it doesn't feel good for you that's your inner compass saying no this isn't really quite right this isn't really what's going to take you to that highest manifestation which was in your imagination three years ago or 20 years ago or however long oh okay so inner space the final frontier this is it people this is where we're at and we all know it. We all know it somewhere within us. We all have an awareness of this aspect, of this going inward, of this being the final frontier. And then poof, we can do anything. We'll be flying. We'll be traveling around in hovercrafts. We'll be, we'll be uh, looking at the best ways of dissolving an economic system which impoverishes, you know, most of the world's population. We'll be looking at ways to actually feed the hungry, house the poor, and you know, care for one another and care for ourselves and learn to enlighten ourselves and learn to totally expand in this being as a spiritual master. I hope you have a great day. Peace out. All to love. All to love.